Is this live? It is indeed. Sometimes I actually go to work every now and again. Not all the time. You know, most of the times I do the regular YouTube thing of waking up, ordering a Chinese at two o'clock in the afternoon, hoping that somebody else better than me has made a video, reacting to it, and then just going to bed. That's it. It's my entire life. What is my Chinese order? Thank you. There we go. That's now we're asking the real questions. Garlic and honey, crispy fried beef with very thin noodles. Garlic and honey, crispy fried beef, amazing. Absolutely fantastic. It's beautiful, honestly. Yeah, with thin noodles. I believe they're called... Is that what they're called? Is that the, the name of the thin noodles? Is the just yell at me and then go and look at the food box? Yes, is it? Okay. Do you want some more of the food? Okay. Is this what you want? This? I can stare off right now. Okay, fine, you win. I'm terrified because this is a rolly chair and the animals always sit right behind and then I roll back and nearly squish them with the wheels, which is just... You can't. You can't be hurting the animals. Ah. <sighs> I thought those were Cocoa Pops for a moment. Look, if I had Cocoa Pops in a massive thing like this, I would be eating them off the floor. Where can I get your drip, by the way? Oh, well, it's very, very exclusive drip. You've got to go to any shop that sells white button-down shirts, uh, then any shop that sells grey waistcoats. I mean, personally, that's for me, Marks and Spencers, because I'm, I'm just middle class enough to shop at Marks and Spencers, but not quite middle class enough to yet shop at Waitrose. That's how it works in the UK. Like, I th I'm, I'm one step above, like, Primark, because you've got Primark, then you've got things like Next, Top Man. That's it. That's all I know of that kind of level. Then you go up to, like, Asda with their George range. Asda are all right. They do some decent stuff. But then you go up to, like, Marks and Spencers. That's, that's the top level of middle class. Once you go and you start buying things that are above Marks and Spencers, that's... That's when you get names of companies that I haven't even heard of. You know, when someone walks up and like, oh, yes, I got this shirt from them. And they just say some random Italian word. And I'm like, I'm 90% sure what you just said is pasta. But I don't know enough to argue about that. Josh shops at Fortnum and Mason's. That kind of thing. Why is it that when you're really rich, you have to have a clothes company with two words that don't seem to connect to each other? They're like, oh, yes, I shop at um, Vera and Cloth. And the reason I came up with that word vera and cloth was because I was looking at a bottle of aloe vera and a cleaning cloth, both of which are green and have just green screened themselves out on the camera. And now I look like a fool holding up nothing. Thanks, colour. OK, but yeah, my, my outfit, my outfit came from fettuccine. Mm, it did. It came from, I was going to say spaghetti then, but that's that's quite a common pasta. I think people would understand and realise that maybe I was lying to them at that point. If you say, like, a posh pasta, people don't know. But if you say a not posh pasta, people will. Like, if you walk up and go, Yes, I bought my, uh, I bought my, my verse from Alfredo and Sons. They won't know what you mean. But if you walk into a, a huge group of people, you're like, Ah, oh, yes, my shirt came from Alphabetti Spaghetti then people might realise that you're taking the piss and actually you did just shop at Primark. Either way. By the way, there is nothing wrong with shopping at Primark, okay? You buy your clothes from there, it's absolutely fine. We are not here to shame people. You buy clothes whenever you want to. Oh my, this is still about pasta. 